Hello and welcome back. This video is almost two years overdue, but yeah, <laughs> let's just get started. A while after I had purchased the Paint by Numbers Tiger set, I bought a second one from the same website, initially because I thought there is no way that this subject is going to look good as a Paint by Numbers. Here is what is included in the set. You get the canvas with your subject and all these little cups of paint. They will see it twice in my case. I also got some cheap brushes and the meta stuff is for hanging this, I guess. Just like the previous time, the numbers on the cups didn't seem to be in any kind of logical order. So here is our little subject, a cat with a butterfly on its nose. Surprisingly enough, someone had optimized the size of the numbers. Back when I painted the tiger, the size of the numbers was one of the most challenging parts. However, you cannot tell on their website if you're getting a paint by numbers set that has larger numbers or not because the preview image on their website was always only of one and the same set for any of the sets that you could buy. This set does have some disadvantages. In some cases, the numbers were larger than the area that you are supposed to paint in. For that reason, I had to change the way I usually paint these sets and start with some of the smaller areas first. There were also two things that were a bit weird about this particular set. There were one or two areas where I'm sure I painted the right color, but it didn't seem fitting. One of them is a patch of blue fur on the cat's body. I ended up painting over it in a different color. The other one is something that you will see at the very end of this video. While I was working on the cat's fur, I noticed a weird patch. It looked like a smudge. But when I looked closely at my reference image, I noticed it was supposed to be the original artist's signature, which had become utterly unrecognizable. And this put me into something of a hard spot. I wasn't sure what to do with it. I didn't want to leave it as the smudge. At the same time, trying to repaint the signature of the original artist trying to fix it would feel very much as if I was trying to copy this artist's signature and that made me uncomfortable. So in the end I decided to go with a compromise. I painted over the area where the smudge was and instead I added a text at the very bottom of the painting where I mentioned the original artist. But this does bring up the question for me if this piece of art was licensed for this paint by number set or not. Aside from these points, this was the most enjoyable paint by number set that I've painted so far. By now I've done five sets from different websites, which all had enjoyable and less enjoyable points. That's it for now. Lean back, enjoy the painting and see you next time. 